Now, when I play one of these games, usually I have no idea what it is. Again, that's not a surprise. I mean, the series used to be called Let's Play a No Name Mame Game to signify that. But right now, we're playing a game that's so obscure, even the site which I legally acquire my arcade machines from, even it did not even have a screenshot of this. Like, this game is too obscure for them, even. So, uh, what could Harem be? Well, let's insert our coins and take a look. Uh, already? The music is. Oh my gosh. Uh, b b it, what? <laughs> so I'm gonna need an instant replay. What? What exactly happened? Like a guy came out of a, a tent and just killed me. Also, killing camels is good. Is there oil? It, it, okay. This game is going to take some thinking to break down. Y you know what? Let's just go back to the title screen and see if they do an introduction, because there's just too much going on here. Come on, monkey. Give give me sweet that sweet, sweet release. Do camels run you over? Camels do run you over. Okay. Oh man, that DDD guy. He's a monstrosity. Jeez, Kirby, you better rein in DDD. Alright, so the game is called Harem. Uh, it looks like we are... Take the odalisk and put her on the bed. Uh, interesting instructions. Okay. <laughs> Today's best game is this. Challenge him. Okay. So our main character is that guy. Uh, we can run around. We can throw knives. So there are women running around on the camels. And so our goal appears to be to kill the camel that they are on and take them into the tents, I assume? Or, well, I guess there are beds on the very bottom of the screen. Do we take them to that? I, oh my god. So, in case you were wondering, I guess I could best summarize this game as very, very, very surreal off-brand Frogger. And, uh, okay. Well, take the Odalisk and put her on the bed, obviously. Oh, I think that explosion is meant to indicate a fight, like uh, good old cartoon age fights happening. Wow, I do kind of love this series when I'm when I legitimately get the sense that I'm like the first one to ever have experienced something. Now, obviously, this arcade game exists. I mean, at the very least, the programmers have experienced this game. But I mean, I can't imagine many people in the world have experienced this game. And actually, now that I think about it, because this name is just Harem, it's like how are you gonna search for it? I guess you could search for Harem Arcade. Uh, bonus prop points to anybody who found this game by searching YouTube for Harum Arcade. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, they get destroyed if they get run over by a camel. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I get destroyed when I get run over by a camel, but I mean, that just seems kind of a little too turnabout as fair play for me. Okay, uh, can you burn down their tents? Can you deal with that menace that's hanging around there? Uh, doesn't look like it. I guess they deal with their tents themselves. <laughs> so I guess this game's uh, point, very abstract, or the goal, very abstractly interpreted, is to build your own harem. Um, I'm pretty sure building your own harem is not at all like this, but you know, let's let's give it a shot. Oh, well, that's no fair. He can't exit the tent right as I'm walking by. That's too unfair. Uh, let's see, I forget, did the oil kill me? Yeah, the oil is just a distraction. Hey, just like real life. And, uh, alright, quickly maneuver her to the bed, and there we go. Uh, someday I'll make my own harem. Uh, in the game, of course, not in real life. Oh my gosh, what is happening? That's a lot, too many guys, although it does seem at least they don't respawn, so if you kill them one by one, then, uh, you're golden. Uh... Yeah, you know that's like plenty of fish in the sea? It's like, well, there aren't enough fish in the sea for me. Well, I guess that's how it works when you're building your own harem. Uh, okay. Well, say what you will, but at least the games go by pretty quick. Can I kill the monkey? No, that would be animal cruelty. Um, completely ignoring what I'm doing to these women. Uh, wow. This game... I mean, it's, it's not necessarily unfair. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, you can't you can't press the knife button and still throw knives while you're carrying the lady. Fair enough. But you can't like use her as a weapon either. Oh my. Oh, okay. 
Easy peasy. Okay, you just gotta think like Pac-Man. You gotta be smarter than the ghosts. You gotta trick the enemies into killing themselves. Okay, so you can kill um, the women with the knives, which makes sense. I mean, the women can be killed by the camels. Why would the knives be any exception? Of course, uh, discovering that fact demonstrates your capacity for video game cruelty, but hey, who cares, right? It's all just virtual ones and zeros. Come on, man. Don't you want a taste of my slick, sleek knife? Oh, wow. Okay. So we are slowly whittling those bad guys down, and we are slowly building up our own harem. These... Oh, my God. I was so close, too. All right, let's kill the last bad guy. Oh, we got to wait for him to come out of his tent. Okay, stupid monkey. Uh, we can kill all the bad guys we want, but the real bad guy is sitting right up there on that tree. Okay, there we go. Now, the only... So, um, I may have misspoke when I... <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> who even who made this game? Why did they make this game? What were they thinking when they made this game? Why does this game exist? How do I know this game isn't just like homebrew? Homebrew for me? <laughs> oh my god. Well, okay. So a lot of facts we have to unravel and unpack. Uh, okay, one. If you kill all the guys, then you can advance to the next level anyway. Just as good, right? So I guess... Even when you're building your own harm, violence is the answer. Oh, come on. I was going to get him, too. So I guess the ultimate point is the women are sort of a distraction, just like the oil. You just got to kill every other guy around you, and then you, too, can win by default. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go out with you for the last man in this desert. It's like, well, guess what? <laughs> that can be arranged. Okay, so it turns out the monkey is on our side in the loosest way possible, which is to say he's more of a force of nature than a force against us. So we just need to use him in the correct and intelligent manner. Uh, do you lose points for knifing women? I guess you don't. So, uh, a little unlike real life in that respect. Okay, wow. This game, it's so hard, but more importantly, it's just so slow. I mean, it's engaging. You're, you're constantly, it's not a bad game. I mean, you constantly have things to do, but it's one of those games where you, you can make real lasting progress. It's going to take a lot of skill, but then you just get sent back so far and it takes so much time. I mean, that does make each time you put in a credit sort of an epic adventure, but an epic adventure that came to a start and when you died. Uh, okay, fun fact, you cannot in fact knife the women in when they're on the beds, so I guess your beds give them some sort of invincibility. Well, and we almost got to see what life was like in the future. You know what? I'm just going to hang out on the bottom. Not even going to run. I'm just going to hang out here and knife the guys as they come out. Because apparently they can't uh, throw anything at me, no distance attacks, so I'm effectively immortal. I just need to have fast enough reflexes. Huh, your knives fly the whole screen over. Uh, unfortunately, your knives, you can only have one on the screen at a time. But uh, I dare say we found our winning strategy. Oh, oh, never mind. You die when your bonus runs out. So I guess you can't just do what I thought I could do, which makes sense. Uh, I gotta keep the game moving somehow, I suppose. That's kind of smart, actually, how they they anticipated that the players would just, like, try to kill all the guys, and they're like, eh, good enough, right? And then the game has to remind them back to Earth. It's like, hey, man, this is a business. We need our credits. Not good enough. Okay. Uh, running out of time, but... I think we could rely on this last guy throwing himself on our blade, and there we go, level two. Not the intended way, but a way nonetheless. <laughs> well, if if you were trying to make jokes about how this depicts a Saudi Arabia or some sort of other Arab nation, it's like, well, they're letting the women drive, so let's not get too into how realistic this is. Although that being said, I hear things were different in the 70s, so maybe they did let women drive back then. 
of course, I'm pretty sure you weren't building harms back then. Again, harms were basically reserved for the richest of people, I think. And in fact, to some extent, they were a show of their wealth. Like, like that you could afford to take care of so many dependents. I guess, in a weird way, it makes it a weird variation of tax law, where it's like the goal is to acquire as many dependents as possible. Is that right? No, not at all. But, uh, loosely interpreted, independents do help. I'm pretty sure this was not made by somebody in one of these nations, because this just seems too negative a depiction. It's like, oh, okay, you run around, you grab the people. It's like, no, this feels more like a Custer's Last Stand sort of deal, where very clearly made by the group it's not depicting. Not made by the group it's depicting. Uh, okay. So we've progressed from people to snakes. Also, oh, okay, sure, now it's grab and go. I mean, again, this game, for all its janky charm, like, it's actually fairly well programmed, and it says 83 on it, so, uh, yikes. Uh, this is actually a fairly well thought out game. And I mean, the gameplay is tight and intense. Uh, you're constantly forced into situations. I mean, there's a lot of things going on that you have to keep in mind. Honestly, if you can get over the subject matter, which is pretty easy, because I mean, it's just a very abstract depiction of whatever this is. I'm sure there's a crime going on, but I can't possibly describe what it is. Then you have a nice, tight arcade game. A hidden gem. A hidden gem. A diamond in the rough, as it were. A diamond in the oasis. An oasis in the desert. Yeah, we'll go with that third one. So, in this game you gotta take the Odalisque, but unfortunately, this cat's gotta take his leave.